Republican Tim Scott was appointed to the U.S. Senate by then-Governor Nikki Haley in 2013. He's seeking his second full term. Democratic challenger Crystal Matthews represents Berkeley and Charleston counties in the State House. I asked both candidates about the issues of greatest concern to South Carolina voters, starting with controlling inflation. And obviously, the first step is to stop spending money we don't have. $4 trillion in excessive spending led to seven months over 8%. One of the ways that we eliminate inflation is to literally stop spending money. I would support and create policy that addresses what we're dealing with right now. I think we as Americans have become spoiled and it's time for us to tighten our belt. We simply can't have everything that we want all at once. On the issue of abortion laws remaining in the hands of state legislatures, the candidates share no common ground. So I would like to see federal re legislation. I think if states were to have it, it needs to be a ballot measure and not just based on their legislature, because we all know um, based on how the maps and things are drawn, you don't really get clear representation. And so I really believe that this needs to be federally codified. What we know for sure is that the courts have ruled it's, it's a state issue now. What we see from the left is the fact that they want to have a federal apparatus where abortion is available on demand up to the 38th week of pregnancy. That is awful. Both candidates are concerned about the rising crime rate, but vary in their approach toward a solution. I don't believe that you can arrest your way out of crime. If that were the case, we would have already been arrested out of crime. Um, we have to invest in those interrupted programs. We have to invest in those mentorship programs. We have to invest in mental health. We have to address the root causes and not just the end item. The Democrats wanted to defund the police. We want to refund the police. And the way we refund the police is working through the bill that I have created that would put billions of more dollars and resources in the hands of local law enforcement so that they can tackle crime as they see fit. Senator Tim Scott tells me it's been an honor to work for the people of South Carolina and he wants to continue his service to the state. Being able to get things passed like the Opportunity Zones, tax cuts for single moms, for dual income families have been a blessing. I'd like to continue the work that I've done and making sure that we put a cap on crime and unleash economic opportunity in every single zip code in our state. State Representative Matthew says it's time to change the hands of leadership in South Carolina. I am the best person to represent you simply because I have a new vision for South Carolina. I know why I'm here. I understand my purpose and I'm choosing purpose over popularity because I want to make sure that people have a voice. If Matthews is unsuccessful in her U.S. Senate bid, she's hoping to win a third term in the State House. Senator Tim Scott has said that if he wins, this will be his final term in the U.S. Senate. Jane Robolo, WYFF News 4.